Hey, welcome to Fred's Kitchen uh, today, and we're going to go over a couple of things. First of all, I had uh, shown everybody a, a, a little item that was on Facebook uh, that was a, an RO slaw container with a cone in the top, and I asked people to, you know, come up with the idea, what do you think it is? I had everything from nuclear waste uh, container to whatever, but I promised that I would tell you exactly what this is. If you've ever been in your kitchen and, and you get, of course, you're doing fruit and veggies and all this and you're chopping it up and you get all these little fruit flies, especially with oranges and uh, that kind of thing when you're working with, uh, with fruit uh, and they're just so aggravating. Well, this is a little thing that came up uh, that I didn't design. I saw it on the internet and I said, what a great idea for my RO's containers because I go through a lot of RO slaw. I love Love it. Now, let me tell you, there's a panic at hand when you go to your refrigerator, you go to your refrigerator and you look and you only have a third left in your last container because your backup container is empty. Now, yeah, I do go through a lot of slaw and I always keep the containers. No. I don't like to consider it as hoarding. I like to consider it as being conservative, uh, not wanting to um, contaminate the environment. Plus, the quality of this container is fantastic. Uh, just recently has been changed to where it's even safer uh, to use. But if you're fortunate enough to have, uh, let's say, a friend, and, and you are fortunate enough to know how to cook, and you cook something, maybe you have a little bit too much, you want to give it to a friend. Guess what? Perfect container. Perfect container. Doesn't cost you anything because you've already paid for it in the slaw. Plus, you've got all the nutrition and everything that's in the slaw to keep you going and make you happy. Well, and to do this, back to the fruit fly, all you have to do is get an eight and a half, by 11 sheet of paper, wrap it, tape it in the form of a cone, Cut you a hole into your RO's container. Insert this. Those little critters are down there flying around in right now. They can't get out. Because you see what this what this does basically it mimics uh, human kind in that we always see something sweeter. We put vinegar maybe a little bit of sweetness, a slice of tomato, something like that in the bottom. Nectar for these little fruit flies. And they will go down into the cylinder after the goodies and then they can't get out. Doesn't that sound like a lot of situations we get ourselves into? But anyway, it makes a perfect uh, a deal for capturing those aggravating little fruit flies that are around when we're trying to cook and do other things. I hope you've enjoyed this. And above all, don't ever let your container get empty. Get to RO's Gastonia, North Carolina and do uh, get that slaw and keep it flowing into your family. Thanks for joining me here at my kitchen. This is Fred. See you later.